Everybody, thanks for joining on what is now what we call a future collectible, right? I'm Tony from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We're going to talk about what a future collectible means. What that means is that these cars, like the last run of modern cars, right? Uh, either the first one of its kind or the last year that it's built, super low miles, heavily documented, right? Those are the cars that we're watching continue go up in value, all right? And so as we look around this car here, we're going to see a car with 5,341 original miles. Sorry, I had to look at that because I almost didn't believe what I was getting ready to say that was coming out of my mouth. But it's true. It's 5,300 miles, driven a few hundred miles a year to car shows and what have you. From the looks of the underneath of it, I'm not sure it's even ever been wet. However, I didn't drive it to 5,300 miles, so I don't really know. All I can tell you is it is spectacular showroom condition, hence why it's in the showroom here. So uh, why are these cars becoming so popular? Well, here's the answer. The answer is this, that you get four-wheel disc brakes. You get modern air conditioning and rack and pinion steering. You get an aluminum V8, and overdrive automatic. You get so many great things of modern cars with old school looks. The cars don't look the same like this anymore. This is a great looking car. These stripes here are vinyl stripes. If you don't love uh, the black stripes, these come off. You can make it your own that way. Uh, but uh, we thought they looked great, so we left them on there. And now we need to finish up and let's talk about originality and uh, paint and interior and under the hood. And let's start that right now. All right, so part of owning a collector car is, is the car original, right? Is it original? And what does original mean? So some people say it's an original, but it has new paint or it has new interior. Well, that's not original anymore, right? They're only original once. And to verify that claim, we have uh, what's called an electronic paint meter, right? And this measures 6.0 millionths of an inch thick. Now, if you're a body shop and you're making a repair on a car, uh, you're going to do a good job there, but you're not necessarily going to care if, if it's thicker or not. So to see whether a car has been repainted, we use this here. And as long as it's within 3 millionths of an inch thick, so let's say 6.0 to 9.0 or, or 6.0 to 3.0, somewhere in that range, as long as, as long as it doesn't jump to 9, 10, 11, 12, then we know we have original paint on the car. And so this measures metal panels. And this case here, 6.0 as well. And so we know we have original paint, which is pretty cool because this is really what we're looking for. We're looking for a collector car and we want to see the value tied up and being at a car show going, this is the paint on this car. Now listen, this is 2021 when we're doing this video, right? And we're talking all 20 years later, almost 20 years later that we're looking at this car with 5,000 miles on it, it has original paint on it, right? Let's check the quality of the paint because you know what? I think you're going to find it to be very, very good. And uh, especially under these lights, which are really harsh, the paint is super, super shiny, and you can read all the letters nice and crisp in there like you should be able to, and that's why we do the video on the car so you can see what you're getting. All right, let's say you want to take this to a car show, which I recommend. Opening the hood and the trunk is an important feature at a car show. This looks spectacular. Like all of the original decals are in here. Uh, this is so nicely detailed. The beautiful all aluminum LS power plant is sitting there nice and shiny. Uh, there's a couple upgrades you could do to it if you wanted to. You could put a cold air intake for some extra horsepower. It's up to you. It's just a matter of how authentic you want this to be. This is the way it rolled off the showroom floor and it looks just like that today. All right, let's take a look in the trunk here because this is important too because you may want to take it away on the weekend. You may want to go to the beach or what have you. Also, it's designed, uh, it's Danilo approved because it holds golf clubs in here, all right? And it comes with, uh, this is a storage bag for the soft top that's there, but has lots of room back here for soft luggage. You can put two to four bags back here, go away for a little while, and uh, enjoy your modern hot rod. All right, so come join me inside here. And this is, again, back to why I talk about modern classics, right? When we get in here, we have uh, some things that make for a much more comfortable car than, say, a 70 Chevelle might have had. So, for instance, like this has a uh, you know, power seat. Uh, power windows, tilt wheel, uh, the monsoon sound system, power top, of course, uh, power locks, keyless entry, goes on and on just about that. 155 mile an hour speedometer, right? Youch. 7,000 RPM tech. That LS power plant is fast, man. Not to mention, when it went all aluminum, uh, the car handled much better. This even has the original GM floor mats in the car circa 2002, right? This is 2021, we're doing this video. 20 years later, this is like a time capsule. Look how beautiful that it is inside. Clearly, this was in a collection uh, where they kept the you know, climate control uh, to keep and preserve everything. And I don't know, it's just, uh, it's an amazing car. I look at it and I'd like to turn it on every single time just to see uh, the mileage on the car. Uh, showing 53.53 right now after we had it inspected and checked over. And it's really, really nice. 
All right, so we're going to close up the video here. We're talking about a modern classic. That's what we've been preaching and talking about the whole time. Modern classic, what's that mean? Well, this car here, having 5,300 original miles on it, having original interior floor mats even, the original convertible top. Um, I didn't check the date codes on the tires, but they could be original as well. And if they are, that means they potentially could have air from 2002 in it. And I'd like to know what the air quality was like back in 2002. Anyway, great looks killer good uh, uh, performance from these. The top goes down, spoilers, stripes. It's a great, great muscle car. Call us, 301-816-1000. We'll find a way to get that in your garage. And if you would, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you would, like this video and share it with your friends.